It was the first really cold day of winter. But Millie's dad knew how to warm things up. A fire! Pass me another pine cone, please, Millie. I'll do it, but I like to. <laughs> One each, then. We wouldn't want an argument now. <laughs> we'll have this ablaze in no time. Why don't you use the big wood? We will, but we have to get the fire started with smaller, lighter wood, like the pine cones. It's called kindling. Pine cones make great kindling. When the fire's going, then we can add the bigger logs. Kindling. Later that day, Millie and Molly took something warm to Millie's neighbour. We'll be back before dinner. Good luck. <coughs> Shush, Taffy Bogle. Hello, Mr Limpy. We've brought you some nice warm soup. Well, that's very nice of you. Soup for lunch and fish for dinner. I hope... Hope? I'm hoping Tom and Jack are going to catch something. I couldn't pay them, so I gave them the last of my marshmallows in return. But I'm afraid I don't have anything to give you for the soup. Well, if you let us play with Taffy Bogle, that'd be enough. All right. <laughs> Let's get that soup inside first, before it cools down too much. Oh, this soup is warm. Why haven't you got your fire going, Mr Limpy? It's a cold day today. Can't get the fire going. I've run out of smaller pieces of wood to get it started. You mean kindling? That's right. I just learned that. <laughs> Taffy Bogle's none too happy about not having a fire. It'll be very cold tonight. We'll cheer him up and get you some kindling too. Walking! <laughs> so the girls took Taffy Bogle out near Farmer Hegarty's farm, where they knew just the place to find some kindling for Mr Limpy. That tree will have a million pine cones under it. Well, we don't want too many. Remember what Mr Limpy said? The bottom could fall out of the box. No, Taffy Bogle! Taffy Bogle! And all the while they made sure that Taffy Bogle stayed firmly on the lead, especially near the river. They knew Taffy Bogle couldn't swim. Not very far away, Jack and Tom were trying to catch dinner for Mr Limpy. I've got something! I've got something! Finally, their patience was paying off. Here it comes! Oh, a boot? This is hopeless. We've been fishing for ages. And now I'm out of bait. How can we catch any fish for Mr Limpy's dinner without any bait? Why don't we try some of these marshmallows as bait? The fish might like marshmallows. OK. The box is nearly full. Isn't nature clever, making such a beautiful thing? I think nature made a mistake with this one. <laughs> no, Taffy Bogle. This isn't a toy. It's to help Mr Limpy light a fire. <laughs> He really likes that pine cane. Soon the two friends were on their way back to Mr Limpy with a box full of kindling. You're going to be nice and warm and toasted tonight, Taffy Bogle. <gasps> oh no! The pine cone! Jack and Tom were still having no luck catching Mr Limpy's dinner. Nothing. Are we 
we've used up all the marshmallows. We can't even give them back. <sighs> Whoa! Huh? What are those things coming towards us? Baby otters, I think. A whole herd of them. Nah, you don't get herds of otters. Look, they're... They're... They're pine cones. Pine cones? Hey, I've huh? got an idea. Quick, get, get your fishing net. We'll catch them instead. It took Millie and Molly quite a long time to walk home. Time enough to add frustration to their disappointment. Huh? Taffy Bogle's dry. We didn't have to worry about him catching cold. He dried out on the way home. No way! Where are they going in such a hurry? Funny, looks like they've got baby otters in their buckets. When Millie and Molly arrived back at Mr Limpy's house, they were in for even more disappointment. Oh, just what I needed. More pine cones for kindling. Huh? Some of these will be dry enough to use tonight. Oh, here you are. Hey, they're our pine cones. No, they're not. They're ours. No, they're mine now. I just bought them. But you can't. They're ours. That funny shaped one was one we picked up for sure. <laughs> Even Taffy the Bogle knows it. That's his favourite one. We fished them out of the river. Well, we put them in the river. Yeah, well... Now hang on, everyone. One at a time. Jack? But, Dad... Jack first. You'll get your say. When we found them, they didn't have anyone's name on them. <sighs> Millie? We sold them to get enough money to buy Mr Limpy some fish for dinner. Huh? Yeah, we couldn't catch any fish. Even with marshmallows for bait. But we wanted the pine cones for Mr Limpy too. He needs them to start his fire tonight. To keep him and Taffy Bogle warm. But he won't have any dinner if we give the pine cones to you. And we need the pine cones or we won't have a nice warm fire tonight either. Poor Mr Limpy. He's going to miss out. One way or the other. Hmm. There has to be an answer. We just have to think about it. I've got an idea. Millie asked her dad to hook up the box trailer to his car and everyone worked together to collect a whole lot of pine cones. I think there'll be enough pine cones for Taffy Bogle to keep that pine cone now. <laughs> Come on girls, that sun isn't getting any higher in the sky. Yeah, and we've still got to get that fish from Mr Limpy. It took the rest of the afternoon to fill the trailer with pine cones. All the shops were closing by the time they got back to town. Jack and Tom would have to hurry if Mr Limpy was going to have fish for dinner. Still got that money? Yeah, and some extra pine cones too. Well, hurry up. The fish shop will close any minute now. Come on. Hope they make it. Now let's get these pine cones to Mr Limpy. Not yet, I'm afraid. They should be back by now. Well, perhaps the shop had closed. Never mind. At least Taffy Bogle and I'll be able to have a nice warm fire, thanks to everyone's efforts. It's them! Jack and Tom! <sighs> <laughs> well, that's not the welcome I was expecting. Sorry, Dad. We were hoping it was Jack and Tom with the fish for Mr Limpy's dinner. Oh, dear. We've got so many pine cones, I thought you might like some more. These should see you right through winter. That's very kind of you indeed. Perfect. Not exactly perfect. Perfect would have been fish for Miss Limpy's dinner. We're here! <coughs> Here's your fish, Mr Limpy. They gave us an extra big one when they heard we were buying it for you. Why, thank you, Jack, Tom. Wait, there's more! Because we got more pine cones than we needed, the fish shop lady gave us something else for the rest of the pine cones. You'll never guess! Marshmallows! Roasted marshmallows. There'd been enough fish for everyone and 
Mr Limpy was very grateful, not just for the food and the fire, but also for the friendship Millie and Molly and Jack and Tom had shown him. Here's the first roasted marshmallow. Who wants it? Me! I don't think all four of you can have it at once. Well, why don't we wait till you've roasted five? Then we can all eat them together. That's better than arguing. And in return for all your good deeds, I'll tell you the story about how I got my limp. Oh, I thought we could watch television. Well, you can do that if you like. But I thought you might be interested in a story about a rocket-powered racing car. Yeah! Any princesses in the story? Of course. And wild animals? Most certainly. And yellow? Hmm. I'm sure we can find some yellow in the story somewhere. Hooray!